So now and I are gonna describe how intent-based networking works and how AI comes into play. So the four key areas, and the first at the bottom we have the infrastructure, which is the switches, the wireless APs, the routers, and so forth. On top is the intent. This is what the user wants to do. We take this intent, and then what we do is we translate it. And we basically translate the intent, what we want to do, into the network and security policies which we want to apply in the infrastructure. These network and security policies then are activated, activate this on the infrastructure. And all these are done through open APIs, programmable models. Exactly, right. something that Cisco, Cisco is very focused on open base, uh, on standards and open APIs, and this is all done through open APIs. And then not only do you want to um, um, instantiate an intent on the infrastructure, you want to see, is it actually working the way it should? Is the network delivering the service as desired? And that's what's called assurance. So the goal of assurance is to assure that the network is doing what's intended. Um, now what's interesting here is that AI comes into play in all these different boxes. W once the, the intent has been uh, activated on the, the network, we want to check, is the network operating as intended? And that's the goal of assurance. So what assurance does is it gathers a huge amounts of data and performs various analysis of data, behavioral analytics, and so forth, to determine is a network behaving as it, as it should, or is there a problem? If there's a problem, where is the problem? What is the root cause of the problem, and how can we fix it? It then provides this feedback to the user, and the user then could say, hey, yes, I see that problem. I want to fix it as recommended. I'm going to instantiate that. It then gets instantiated in the infrastructure. And then we once again check to see if it works as intended. If it does, awesome. If not, we make additional changes. So we have this very powerful feedback loop here. And the AI is in all the different parts. And by having AI, having this feedback loop and having AI, this accelerates what we're doing, improves agility. And overall, for the end customer, it improves the performance, reliability, and the security for them. And this is also the layer where, in addition to doing baselining of all the data that we have, then we can now do anomaly detection, we can do now site comparisons, and then we can next go into predictability of what may happen sometime later in the future. Yes, which is incredibly useful for our customers because before they didn't have any of those capabilities. So this is really, really very valuable, very, very exciting times. But now and myself and many thousands of people spent about five years building this. So the reason it's so simple is because we spent about five years building it and we're continuing to invest to build more and more capabilities into, into, our, into the intent-based networking.